Local Love is live Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Pacific. And don't forget to tune in at 7.30 that same night for Down Ballot, both of our local focus shows live the same night. Twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. Enjoy the show. Don't forget to follow us on social media for beautiful food and inspiration. <laughs>
What's up, everybody? Welcome to Local Love. We do the show live every Tuesday, 9 to 10 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. Uh, if we have a guest, we go a little longer, 9, maybe to 11. We might go a little long tonight. Depends on if we can scare up a panel. Um, go ahead and head on over to echoplexmedia.com slash swag and pick up that fucking sweet Local Love t-shirt with that fucking rose design that the media wench made. It's been selling pretty well in our swag shop, and I feel like even if you're not from around here, that design's pretty good, and you can have local love wherever you live, right, Juan? That's goddamn right. What's up, Juan? Introduce yourself. Oh, hello, everyone. This is Juan Monserati. I am a uh, co-host on the Local Love Show, and I am also a keyboard player in the local... And I play for Rebels Camp and also for Lowson Providers. I also pick up groceries and shop for insurance. Is that what you had to do after work today? No, no, I was joshing. But no, um, you know, at, after work, I did pick up some bomb ass. Um, what, there's a spot called the Kebab Shop. And, uh, you know, you can pick up some really good wraps there, man. And uh, it, it was it was good. One you of know, these days like we diversify. May- one of these days we may change the focus of this show from music to food because there's a lot of good food around here. <laughs> you know what? I tell you what, man, you know, there, that, that subject is super hot right now these days. I swear. Um, a lot of people are looking, always looking for the next big thing. And in fact, I think there is a, uh, a Facebook show, a Facebook group that I'm a part of. Was it food for funsies or something like that? And all of my homies are on there from different parts of, of, the, of the Bay Area, including outside of the Bay Area, just posting really cool food stuff. So if you're if you're ever looking to uh, to see what's up, or if you want to um, maybe share your own your own secret sauces and, and such, go to the Facebook group Food for Funsies. I think that's what it's called. Um, okay, I'll, I'll send I'll send the Frederick 2.0 over there. I guess. Frederick 2.0. <laughs> what happened to Frederick 1 version 1 app? What happened to you, man? Not to get too much into it, but after I got named in that 538 article, Facebook oh. nuked all my alts. Wait, 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 wait. There was a new article that got... No, uh, no. This was around the first of the year. No all my, way. All my alts got nuked. Shit. Shit. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely down for uh, Frederick 2.0, you know? Yeah, it's 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 always a a case of uh, Frederick getting cooler and more uh, surreal. So I'm all about it. I am. Uh, I'm current. I'm currently in Facebook jail for uh, telling a uh, person who kept. Yo, today, like, I was in this comment thread, and there was this trans woman like trying to like explain to this other lady that like it's <laughs> fine that people are trans, and the lady kept calling the trans woman dude. Not like, oh, dude, you don't understand. She was like. She was like, hey, you're a dude. You don't know anything about women's stuff. And I just said, hey, you know what? I think you have really poor character and you bring great shame on your family. And I got fucking knocked out for <laughs> bullying. <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy that these uh, anti-vaxxers, these, uh, you know, homophobic, transphobic people get to say all sorts of shit on on. The, for social media or in particular facebook but the minute you speak up all of a sudden you find yourself 30 day jail well it's, you know it's you like know, what it's, the fuck man i think it's that the rest of the world isn't the bay area and so like we maybe feel a little oh. bit, we have a little bit different <laughs> different sort of sensibilities you, around this stuff you want to know something i'll tell you what man i will say like the, the last five years uh that was has been like this reality that i uh yeah, it never occurred to me that I thought the rest of the uh, country was somewhat like the Bay Area. <laughs> but, you know, now I come to find out it's not like that. And um, we're kind of like, I don't know, we're we're uh, an oasis. We're kind of our own thing. And um, I would never uh, think about getting out of here. Like for me to go to like Florida or Texas or anywhere else, uh, I'm good. Nah, nah, nah. You can, you can. You can keep all that. I'm gonna be here in the barrier with my homies. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I could go to another city, maybe. Just depends on which city and like, like what you know. Just depends which city. 
Would you ever move to Sacramento? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's almost as expensive as here and the weather sucks. Dude, I heard it gets hot. It and the smoke and stuff. Uh shout out to James Perry and uh Michelle Perry up there. They're struggling they're dealing with the smoke as best they can and they just had like a bunch of filters and stuff installed on their place. So shout out to them up there. I hope they're doing okay. I would have invited yeah. them on tonight, but they're like dealing with smoke and some, you know, just some living in the living in the hills outside of Sacramento issues. So Yeah. <sighs> I tell I tell you what, man, it's getting rough everywhere. Like with this fire business going down and uh also um my heart goes out to the people of lake tahoe and people who live in around them parts you know it's like it's fucking crazy man you know what speaking of uh <laughs> james perry we're gonna play an ashes fallen song right now this song is called thy will be done and we'll be right back
All right, I have a bit of breaking news. We got a YouTube community guidelines strike for down ballot. What? Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, our local news show just got a community guidelines strike on YouTube. Why? Why? Because we covered the board of supervisors meeting where a bunch of uh, anti-vaxxers fucking zoomed, like used Zoom to call in. What? <clears throat> you uh, need to tell me if somebody calls in and they're using Zoom, a corporation. Well, I mean, well you're, is, you're, you're, hold on. They didn't call me. No, I didn't call you, but they called into the uh, the, the council meeting, correct? Mm -hmm. And because their use of Zoom. No, it's not about Zoom. It has nothing to do. They could have called on the phone and it wouldn't have mattered. So I'm trying to try to understand. Maybe you can explain it to people. Oh, how yeah. is this? Because we breaking? covered we covered the board of supervisors meeting where a bunch of people called in to lie about the vaccine. We spoke on it, saying that these people were calling the board of supervisors meeting to lie about the vaccine. We played some examples, and then we cut away talking about how the anti-vaccine movement is a problem and how they're invading everybody's community through board of supervisors meetings, uh, city council meetings. Um, uh, school board meetings, and uh, we got a community guideline strike for that. I I, I don't I, I still don't understand. It's it's uh I thought I mean you know if the city council is putting video out there, live video out there, why can't you comment comment it on it? Or I mean, without getting D, isn't that isn't that like public government use I that's mean, the, that's the the the, the, the pro, it isn't that we got a copyright strike it's that they it's not a copy strike there's not a copyright strike no violating medical misinformation policies oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, how, are, how are you violating uh i mean we're, that wasn't the fact that you were talking about disinformation. They dinged you because you were talking about it. Yes. Um, right now, I'm just going to a lot of people talk shit on Twitch and Twitch has a set of problems. If that happened on Twitch, there's a fucking human being that I can email. I've had conversations with them via email about what we do. And they said, oh, you're probably fine. <sighs> So I'm just going to give a big shout out to Twitch. You can cover controversial itch issues on Twitch if you are not endorsing racism, if you are not endorsing medical misinformation, if you are not endorsing dangerous conspiracy theory. Um, on YouTube, seems really arbitrary, and chat seems to think we were mass flagged. Yeah, maybe people, maybe anti-vaxxers are mass flagging us on YouTube. So we've been going after these fuckers for a long time, and they all fucking hate us. Like, it's their party, right? They have every right to kick me off. But that doesn't mean that what they're doing makes any goddamn sense. You know what I'm saying? You're right. And maybe we can bring this back a little bit locally. This shit's in our neighborhood. They're right here. Yeah. I, I, that's fucking dumb, dumbfounding. Like, how the fuck? But it, it must have been a concentrated effort of, like you say, anti-vaxxers just coming together and saying, you know what? Let's uh, dox this guy off of you. Let's get him a strike. And by the way, um, what's the uh, like? How many strikes? You only have only so many strikes, right? Before you're off. YouTube, oh, we're, or how does... we're at two now. Oh shit! Because we just got off <clears throat> of a, of another one for covering mm. different city council mm. meetings in the upfront of the plex the week before. Um, I mean, I'll appeal it. Maybe I'll get it because we found the content they're talking about on YouTube. Like last time that we had one overturned, I was like, Hey, I found this on your website. <laughs> that was all I said. in the reason like on the appeal, but like instead of exporting art and culture, which we sh should have plenty of here in San Jose, all we're exporting is fucking misinformation and like, <clears throat> and like, yeah, we could be exporting all this wonderful art and culture through the music and the, the, the visual artists and the, like the people we've talked to on this show, we could ex be exporting that, right? Like right. all the great people who've come on this show over the years, local love.
we could be exporting that, but instead we're exporting YouTube and they're like weird, arbitrary enforcement of fucking policies that would be fairly easy to enforce if they had one motherfucker who would look at the video though. Oh no, they're, <laughs> they're talking shit on the misinformation. They're trying to inform people that this is out there. And to look out for it. That's what we're saying. We're like, look out for this at your own city council meeting. Keep your eye out. And if you see this, if you have time, call into your own board of supervisors, city council meeting to try to counter program. And like, that's what we said. And I mean, I'll, I'll appeal it tomorrow or whatever, but I'm like, I mean, if, well, if sure, I end up on sure. bit shoot, I'm going to be pissed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, um, I got, I got to ask you a question then, because I, I, I thought I've been kind of been thinking about this. Um, not necessarily from like, say left to right perspective, but just like something that I, I don't know if all of us, whatever, like I'm kind of conflicted. Right. So like, here's the deal, you know, you know, the, the right has this thing about like, well, we got to make sure we got to have like the right way with what we want to say. Right. But as they're saying it, um, I feel like the, the left or the counterpoint should have just as much right. So the point being is rather than to have like this doxing of, of nobody got doxed. I've well, been doxed, doxed. But nobody got doxed. Okay, I wouldn't call it semi dox or doxing. Well, no, okay, doxing. I, I maybe got mass reported. Mass reported. Like, I mean, it's important. Would you say it's important that both sides have that no right to say what they want? No, or, no. Okay, no. What I would say is, if you're going to enforce policies against medical misinformation, you should make sure that the things you're kicking off of your fucking website are actually medical misinformation and not okay. just people who are talking about the fact that it exists. Right, and that shouldn't be left up to some fucking algorithm to decide how that you know how it can be interpreted, because it it, it just sounds like some automated shit took you out, well, and that was the thing. I you know I don't know the solution to the fucking problem, but they ain't got it right. And you know again, bringing it bringing bringing it kind of back to local music, like why is the area we live in instead of somebody highlighting Sweet Haya coming out of san jose the conversation about san jose is how shitty youtube is or how shitty facebook you know what i'm saying like it kind of sucks actually that that's like where we're at like i don't want to get too deep into the weeds on misinformation and, and content moderation but i do kind of want to like think about like the way that our the way that the community here the way that our culture here has been exported in like the worst possible fucking way instead of you know like rebels camp's got some bangers why aren't why aren't like other music shows talking about San Jose, right? Oh, they're all talking about San Jose because of content ID. You know what I'm saying? Like, because mm. of content ID and like fucking CD baby and all, uh, they're in San Francisco, but that, you know, it's the fucking same sort of thing. And it just kind of sucks, I think, in a way for the, for the con people creating content here. Oh, shit. I have another notification from YouTube. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Um, I thought they were going to get me for Andy Nolch. We had Andy Nolch on the other <laughs> night. That was full of medical misinformation, but we fucking clowned on that guy because he's an idiot. Um, but like the fact, I think that the fact that like some of the companies here are like doing demonstrable damage to our world makes it hard for people who are artists here to get noticed in any sort of way. Because uh, other podcasts, other streams that are about music and art are going to end up talking about San Jose in the Bay Area in terms of like the, the, the corporate, the corporations here. Right. I hear what you're saying now. So, so it's getting, you're getting shoved out of the way by a different conversation. And so it makes it really makes it even harder mm. in a scene where it was hard to like get any recognition for your art anyway, because of the way the city doesn't support the arts and the way the County doesn't support the arts. And now this, not me specifically, but the way that some of these companies are behaving <laughs> around art and music are now yeah. that's dominating the conversation about San Jose, which again, like there's some brilliant artists here. Like I'm just why are you know, like, I feel like that sucks up a lot of the air when people start talking about music in San Jose. No, I agree. I do agree that there is uh, a, a shutout 
um, from having the greater world learn about us, um, hear our, our, the music from, from, from our perspective, not tech perspective per se, but I'm talking like our perspective of living out here, living and th- striving and creating out here. And um, what are the, what are the uh, sort of the, um, the, 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 what makes us tick? You know, that type of shit. And I think that, um, that, that that's all, you know, that the noise is the noise on that other front with, you know, having, like you say, you know, um, the worst uh, aspects of, 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 of technology and like in, with respect to social media, how that was, uh, it really, I think it, I think it really fucked up Silicon Valley in a lot of ways. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I think like it's, I don't live in San Francisco. But oh, it fucked up San I could, Francisco. Oh, oh, was gonna, well, you know, I remember the early days when when um, the city was willing to make deals just to have companies come through tax free, and they did. I, I don't think the city knew that that they were going to give up a, a lot. They were going to give up so much in do, in having doing and doing that. Because you know, I'm going to give it up. Did I'm, that? I'm going to give it up though to San Jose and San Francisco. Uh, Amazon, when they tried to build their headquarters, tried to come to these places and ask for something. And they're like, "Oh, if you want to buy land and build here, that's fine, but you get nothing." <laughs> you know what? I'm you know what? I thought that was in New York. Mm. I thought New York basically said no, 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 no. no. What happened? Uh, this is this is a way off in the weeds. So I'm going to explain it real quick, and then we're going to play okay, the song. Cool, cool. But uh, New York offered them stuff, and then decided not to offer them stuff. But <laughs> San Jose literally told them, "You get nothing," and so did San Francisco. They That's said, good. They said, "If you want to build here, you know, we understand why you might want to build here, but you get nothing." And so, anyway. Here's a song about misinformation in the pandemic. I hope I don't kick off, get kicked off a of Twitch for this. This is reasoning by smoke and mirrors sound system. Uh Oh, my MIDI controller is sad again. Yeah. 
voice be your weapon Let your shield be your words Let there be no confusion Fucking COVID anthem. I'm telling you, COVID 2020 anthem. What's up, Curtis? Uh oh. Um, Uh -oh. Hey, do you hear me now? I can hear you now. How are you doing? We can hear you now. (laughs) We can hear you. I'm doing all right. How are you guys doing? Good. Although, uh, during the song, people could hear all the noise we were making because this fucking mixer I have is starting to starting to give up the ghost. No, through that mixer. <clears throat> I should Three maybe. Uh, so I like face this problem because I I need like tiny mixers and tiny pad controllers because I just mm-hmm. don't have a lot of room in front of me. But then mm-hmm. you end up with cheap shit mm-hmm. because nobody like the the little little mixer I have with the knobs that just controls the the virtual mixer I have here. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. sixty bucks. I would pay $150 for a good one in this form factor, yeah. but I'm the only motherfucker who will. So yeah. nobody's going to make it. <laughs> you need to get like an iPad mixer, you know? So you just oh think. dear. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I love, I love actual physical knobs connected to things by wires and shit, man. That's just like, anyway, I, I don't buy anything with like a tack needle on it. Oh, I should have that going like during all the songs. Like even if it isn't right for the song, right? Just make people think we're analog. Maybe a yeah. picture of a tube. Yeah. Just a glowing tube. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Gibson makes a night light that's a tube. It's all it is all is the tube and they plug it into the and it plugs into the wall and it's night light because it glows orangey. I don't yeah. know enough about it, but I also f- I feel like it's probably a small tube that like requires very little energy, right? But there's a way in which you could burn up a lot of electricity with something like that if you were careless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. But it's for probably sure. Like, yeah. one, like one watt. Like it just well, takes like have... a half a watt to light up the tube. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a big ass resistor inside. Put <laughs> along those lines. So what's your thoughts, man, on like, you know, like Curtis if I wasn't was here a minute ago, Curtis, the, the discussion we were having a minute ago is how um, there, there might be a way in which the art and music culture in San Jose gets drowned out in a conversation because of all the other terrible things we're exporting from here. Mm, like if, terrible things. Give, uh, me, give me a list of the terrible things. Um, Facebook. No, that's pretty terrible. That's so what cool. I'm saying is like if there's a if there's a if, if there's a podcast or a show about like music and art, if mm-hmm. they're gonna mention San Jose or Silicon Valley, they're not gonna mention the Rebels Camp or they're not gonna mention Sweet Haya. They're not oh, gonna no. mention any they're gonna mention content ID mm-hmm. that yeah. comes here out of here in Silicon Valley. So I was just wondering, like that's what kind of what we were talking about before. Well, occasionally they'll mention like uh Smash Mouth. <laughs> oh, I've been to some parties in Fremont. <laughs> <laughs> some parties where that exact thing happened to somebody in the band. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was a lady who likes other ladies. It was a. It was like two thousand one or two thousand. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, yeah. That Smash Mouth. I, ooh. <laughs> well, 
Well, uh, if I could do anything, I would uh, I would start promoting bands, much like I'm promoting my show on <laughs> What's up? September 10th at the Ritz. September 10th at the Ritz. So Monkey, oh, shit. Monkey the Odd Numbers and uh, and Warsaw, Poland Brothers from uh, the heart of the Southwest. We're going to freaking annihilate the place. So September 10th at the Ritz, San Jose. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Is that a Saturday? Uh, it's a Friday, I think. Friday, Friday the 10th. Oh, that's even better. Like, yeah, I think I, we, I could definitely we, go to that. Cause all I do on, all I do on Friday is like do things that if I put up on YouTube would get me kicked off of YouTube. So let's go. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, get, get tested. Uh, and, uh, you know, bring, bring your fucking vax card. Oh, just do you know if they take the, uh, the, the, the app, like in Google pay or whatever, do they take that, that verification or do, should I bring the, the digital, like the physical card? I don't, I don't know what they're, uh, I don't know. What you know they're what the Ritz, I could just contact them on like Twitter or something, right? Yeah. I could even call maybe like during the afternoon, there's a number of shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be a good show. Curtis, manager extraordinaire, Alabaster's up in the chat talking you up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, San Jose, San Jose is uh, unfortunately not known for for its music, even though there is a, a music scene here. And the music scene ebbs and flows just like any other. Uh, but there's not a lot of support uh, unless you uh, look at uh, uh, Chris Esparza with uh, Giant Creative, uh, Phil with Phil Co Productions. You know, people that are in the underground, uh, in the background behind like major city festivals and stuff, those guys are the ones that keep like rebirthing it. They just kind of like, hey, bring some music in, make stuff happen on the streets. Yeah, it's cool. You know, we need more of that. Yeah, yeah. We've had our, uh, we've had our, had our uh, disagreements with uh, the sofa people, but on the on the whole, they're definitely doing a, a big a, a big service to the city because they ain't making no money on fucking sofa street fair, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of the sure. labor of love things. Yeah, yeah. My, there's not a lot of money to be made in a lot of this. A lot of this because if uh, if there isn't uh, look, look, there isn't a target band, so there's not a target audience, and without a tar- tar- target audience, you have you have no target. Uh, consumers right so how do you make that happen well you got to make a target band and no one's willing to put all their eggs in one one band basket right one musician's basket yet they're waiting for like the big payoff the the one musician that just takes the world by storm by accident oh aaron marquez from fucking sweet high oz up in the chat hey what's up aaron 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 marquez so yeah i was putting a little diamond next to his name in the chat so that's why i was like unavailable for it in nine seconds aaron marquez is now a vip in the chat Hello. Uh, sweet high you know sweet high oz one of those bands that like i feel like kind of suffers from being from san jose in a lot of ways yeah like for sure like if they were out even just san francisco i feel like they would get a lot more traction like outside of the bay area yeah 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 san francisco or oakland oakland is uh one of those like um art warehouse goliaths where you can just become an overnight sensation just because you were at every freaking block party for like you know a summer right and then all of a sudden the right person with the right connections notices you and boom you're done there's we don't have that here in san jose we got plenty of billionaires it's just none of them give a fuck about sweet high ass so fuck billionaires right yeah yeah well the real the the real problem is is uh and i've said this on my show i've said this for many years for many years the problem with san jose is not that san jose is lame or that san jose has uh too many men man jose um and the problem is that when you say i have a band they go oh that's that's cool uh, okay, cool. You want to come to the show? Will the show make me the next millionaire? Because that's all I care about while I'm here. Because I'm going to be here for like maybe two years, and I'm going to go the fuck back home and take all my money with me. 
I wish all those people would go the fuck back home. Actually, now that I think yeah, about it, yeah, yeah, it would be great if they just went back home. But the problem is, is that right now they're cluttering up the entire area and making everybody think that it's a rat race to get to the next million. And it's like, dude, a million isn't even a million anymore. Like, go home and start your fucking web uh, cacophony from Iowa. Well, nobody cares anymore. It's not, it's not the Bay area is not the only place to fucking create anymore. You can create in the middle of fucking, you know, Saskatchewan right in the middle. Like you got a fucking log cabin on one side and a big ass mountain on the other side and a, a fucking turd Creek right in the middle. And you're fucking do, 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 do. You got the biggest, best app in the fucking business. So, you know, this why is another, you, this, why are you, cl- why are you clouding up our area? This is another argument for <laughs> rural broadband because maybe some of these fucking people would leave if they get a good connection in Saskatchewan. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I, I just, I'm just saying, like, that's all I care about. <laughs> I'm just saying, working from home has um, certainly made every, everybody think. You know what? I can work anywhere. I can, I can do my thing from anywhere. I can create from anywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I think I think about this. My, uh, my girl talks to me all the time about this, about going to like um, she's looking at some uh, listing in Indiana for a, a, like a four bedroom mansion of a home that needs like a bathroom redone uh, for like twenty three thousand dollars. Let's go. Wow, dude, we could pay to run the fiber line out to that fucking place. <laughs> make it make it six bedroom and all three of us and our fucking people could go let's go we'd never even see each other <laughs> I, my uh, and I, I i told her this i said look if you and i want to put together just a little tiny kitty of skrill and buy one of these places outright in the middle of fucking nowhere you can go out there and live for like four months and then I can go out and join you for four months. And then you can come back to the Bay Area while I live out there for four months. And we could do a cycle where we're just constantly maintaining the property and keeping this home, second home experience. And she's like, well, why even be in the Bay Area? And I'm all, because I got bands, I got friends, I got, you know, jobs. So, you know, it, the moment you lose your job and you're in fucking in the woods, then how fast are you going to get the next job in Silicon Valley? Right. That's the, that's the thing is the network. The thing is yeah. the network here. And I think yeah. we have a pretty strong network. Yeah. Like those of us who all know each other. And that's just the whole music scene, except like yeah. a few people don't like each other. And I'm as guilty of that as anybody. There are people out there. I don't like, I like both of you though, or at least that's what I say on the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You> bastard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that there's, something to be said for like the scene here would be better actually if people who don't want to live here, but are just here because of the ability to get a job and basically have reasonable internet, were mm-hmm. able to get out yeah. then like affordable housing would open up for people who do want to be here. Yes. Yes. Well that, and, uh, and if we could take all the, um, Airbnb style, apps and just shut them down for major clotted areas like san francisco uh it's it's, or make it uh, make it like a get like a higher barrier to entry for it maybe make it so yes you can do a room at your home but no you can't go rent a place and then turn it into a profit center off of airbnb because you're rich yeah yeah well what was happening for and this is a uh, there was a bunch of exposés i think we've actually talked about on the show is uh there were a bunch of people in the Bay Area that would go for these really like crazy ass home loans, grab a home, immediately start putting on Airbnb, and then start working the wheels for the second home. They had no money for any of this in the first place. And so they're just stacking collateral on top of each other, and it's all paying itself off. And so they're driving around. Uh, they, 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 they don't have, they're in like a, a, a studio apartment with a gigantic tv and a single chair and a stack of games oh, i thought you were and, gonna say money yeah a stack of games and a stack of money and they're just all, all they're doing is playing this fantasy game with themselves until a pandemic comes along and nobody rents for like several months in a row so what happens is these people had some of these people had 10 to 20 properties that they were working on 
10 to 20 properties <laughs> and all of those required their monthly payment and they could not make one of them. So that got really shitty and I'm glad I'm glad those guys. Well, there's, to- there's a way in which too, like other people who weren't like abusing the system worked for those people and those people lost their jobs too. So like, it's mm-hmm. not, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah, I couldn't I, manage 20 pro like, I couldn't, if I quit everything I'm doing right now, managing 20 properties on Airbnb, mm-hmm. I'd, I'd hire you for that 125 K that you're worth. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd be like, Curtis, help me with this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's a little bit of that. Going on. There's a little bit of a, of a cottage industry for that, but the real problem is not in the, um, it's not in these people making ridiculous m- amounts of money, self-generating you know, uh, an ecosystem for themselves. That's an awesome idea. What's not awesome is that there's a lot of homeless people and it's because they can't find housing and these houses are literally unlived in. Mm. Right. Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday Yeah, is when they're yeah. and only sometimes during the festivals and that shit yeah. gets cranked up so high that during pride, you might be able to pay for six months. You rent on your Airbnb place. If you got four bedrooms, you rent all four of them fucking bedrooms out during pride. You might get six months of that lease and, and yeah. money to buy your Bentley off from off of that. You know, well, someone get, threw out a stat. I don't know how true it is, but I read it in some paper or some crap. Uh, it was, uh, there was, there was enough unlived in rooms in San Francisco that it could house the homeless problems three times over three times that's a huge number that's so I have, a, I, have a, number. I have a fun idea when you don't know where you found something be like i don't know if i found anything maybe it was on echoplexmedia.com <laughs> <laughs> well no that's always been the case is that, that the right here <laughs> that the just the un <clears throat> i think just the unoccupied um housing in mm-hmm. any major metro area, one unoccupied housing unit, be it a single family home, a studio apartment, mm-hmm. could more than cover the pro- the homeless problem. I mean, our problem is that the system doesn't like, and this is this is way off for local love, but I love it. The problem is that mm-hmm. the system doesn't say that as a human being, you're entitled to a roof over your head no matter what. Yeah. Oh, if you're a criminal, they think that. And sometimes you're not even a criminal. <laughs> And they just put you well, in jail well, anyway. Let's let's put a copy on on that. And a criminal, as a criminal, you have a purchased roof over your head because they are going to work you for free, unless That's you not resist. Not but then not. you have a much smaller, much more solitary roof over your head, <laughs> where they try to retrain you. Hmm. Uh, by the way, if a general strike is going to happen, it's going to happen in the prisons. Hmm. So we have homeless people and people live in that highly leveraged lifestyle. Yep. Yes. And then, you, and then you have, then you have a bunch of locals that are just kind of like weaving in between the cracks going like, fuck, this crack is getting tighter. Right. <laughs> right. I, and like, how do I do this? How do I do this? <laughs> and the people, the people that are living as Juan said, these highly leveraged lifestyles are far less likely to try to do something about the folks who don't have anywhere to live than the people trying to navigate the shit in the first place. People trying to navigate the shit in the first place are the ones doing like community organizations and, you know, like neighborhood groups trying to figure out what to do, not about the homeless, but to help the homeless. Yeah, It's yeah. never, it's never that motherfucker with 20 Airbnbs going, how do we help the homeless? It's like, bitch, you have 20 Airbnbs. How do you help the homeless? Shut up. <laughs> Open your fucking door for a while. Yeah. Yeah, there's a uh, the best thing I've ever seen is in downtown San Jose. There's a uh, oh god, wh- what's it called? There's a um something like the res- like the self respect mobile or something like that. I, I can't remember what the dude. I'm driving that self respect mobile yeah. right into the library. What's up? But but it's just <laughs> it's just a it's just a, a box truck with like six showers in it so that homeless people can get a fucking shower. And that's uh, one of the most amazing things I've seen. It, 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 that that can, can cure so many temporary ills. Oh, I, to like, just, to, uh, oh, oh it's, called, it's called like the, the, the dignity 
the dignity dignity wagon or something like that. So I just I just call it I just call it the shower truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, dignity on wheels. Dignity. On, I think it's all called dignity on wheels. I'll look it up here. Uh, like I think that like. I think that the fact that that's an amazing thing in our community sort of speaks volumes about one of the richest mm -hmm. things in the world, not just the Bay area, but specifically Santa Clara County yeah. is just one of the <laughs> richest things the fucking world has ever seen. And we got a fucking box truck with a few showers in it. And now we're humanitarians. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like well, no, uh, I, I, the people doing that, by the way, I don't want to like belittle their work. Yeah, yeah, like you, yeah. like the people that's hard there's probably all kind of weird permits. I bet the city and the county get in your way. I bet the fucking people, if you shut, set that shit up in Willow Glen, those people in Willow Glen would learn how to make a Molotov cocktail and throw it at the fucking fan. Like, yeah, here's your dignity, bitch. Um, no, uh, <laughs> what, what, uh, uh, you know, what it does do is it reminds people that these are human beings. They're not, they're not like, uh, untrustable rats that you have to worry about. You know, like, oh, that guy stole my, my bike. Yeah, he stole your bike. He doesn't have a fucking transportation. And he's going to steal somebody else's bike because he has, no, he has nothing. Like, somebody's going to steal that bike from him in 24 hours anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, guy, that guy has nothing on his side. Nobody on his side. So the fact that he stole a bike, it sucks for you. You got to buy a new bike. Or you got to go get your bike from him. But either way, there's a reason why the people don't steal because they're like, eh, you know, I just want to fuck someone's day up. Some people do, but we call them stockbrokers, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the wrong game for sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, by the way, it, it is called dignity on wheels.org. If you, if uh, you're mm. listening to I, visit I, page. I feel like, I feel like maybe, uh, even though I like, don't like the material conditions in which that happened, Curtis, uh, once everything, the ones there, if everything goes back to normal, will you get with me so we can throw a big fuck off benefit for this, this charity? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I would do for dignity on wheels. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. We'll we'll try to mix everything up. Have some DJs, have some bands, maybe even do a podcast at the end of it. Once everybody's good and wasted, see if we get ourselves striked on Twitch too for something we said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I just I like ideas like that because you know the, you can you can you can open up a soup kitchen in any community and serve the same like inferior food, or you could do something else that people actually need. You know, or they ain't got a soup kitchen is Los Gatos. Yeah, <laughs> you know what would not be happening there is what we might call inferior food. People would be like, "Oh, you can't feed anybody that it has a GMO in it." Yeah, they'd be yeah. like, "Oh, you're so disconnected from the people that you're trying to help." Yeah. <laughs> but also spend your money to buy like high quality food from the farmers market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what about if what about if like every farmers market was also a soup kitchen? Mm. I feel like this would this this would change the world. Yeah, yeah. I, Whether you know, you're, I, no matter who you are, what what condition you are, you go to the farmer's market, it's about noon, and they make you a lunch out of the well, things imagine, that you can find at the farmer's. I think it would be great. Uh, imagine, imagine this. Imagine there was a, a facility where the farmer's market guys, once the, they're the once the oranges have been all picked through and there's just the dented ones, what if instead of taking it home and throwing it out, they gave it to a facility and that facility opened its doors to anybody at any time. They had somebody on staff, right? You right? still get a meal. It doesn't even matter if you're a billionaire. You're like, I heard oh, they're no, serving no. the lasagna tonight and the lasagna is hella good. No, check, check this out. This is a, this is a, this is a kind of a unique idea, but you set up like a, a miniature, almost like a grocery store, right? Where it's well lit, and you could tell that like the fruit and vegetables are a little dented, but it's still good, right? And then you had a manufacturing making area and a hot pot and utensils, and the person can make their own food. That would like, take a long time. Well, like a person can walk in off the street and say, you know, I tried to get some money for for McDonald's today, couldn't do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the the fucking nature habitat, whatever the fuck they want to call it. I'm going to walk in the door, say hi to Joey because he's always working the night shift. And I'm going to make myself a fucking sandwich. 
Yo, I like, think that I think that along with if you can just grab a bag of food that somebody else yeah. prepared for you, you're like, actually, I ain't got time for this. The line's hella long. I'm gonna get in the other line. Yeah, then yeah. You put those two together, but it's all from the fucking bougie farmers markets. It has to be because we have to fucking <laughs> Robin Hood this shit. But I think I think that 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 not only would you get uh, people making making food for themselves, but you might get some of the homeless people will go in and cook for others. They will support their own community if you give them the tools. Listen, listen, I love this idea as long as we take all the food from Campbell, Los Gatos, Saratoga, Willow Glen. Like, we have to, like... <clears throat> the The other thing that kills me is, is San Jose. Uh, every every uh, block and a half, you see a tree that has a million fruits on it, and nobody's picking them. Whoa, that's... No, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. You've You've just brought up uh, this is this is that radical shit I like. Mm -hmm. I call it I call it um we call it the, the mm. urban we'll call it the urban harvest. Yeah. Yeah. No, the uh, you go I, through I, the good I, neighborhoods I, and you'd be like, hey, there's an orange tree in your backyard. Yeah. I'd like, like I'd like to pick, pick some oranges. Out. Yeah. The, this group of people would like to donate their time and pick all the fucking oranges so that your tree grows good oranges again. Right. Don't even tell them that they're helping someone less fortunate because like some of these yeah. neighborhoods are like, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get oh. off my property. No, you just give them a, some little tag that says you have a tax write off of X amount of dollars. The truth is, is that uh, uh, the, the what was it? The, the the tax franchise board won't take anything less than five hundred dollars of of a of a you know, of a transaction. Right. So if you give them. A transaction slip for 140 bucks they're gonna go what, what does this doesn't meet the meet the 500 it's like yeah but we can come back and pick some more next week like like we'll combine them yeah or do you ha what else do you have oh no yeah, not, not, then you hit them up for a donation of 360 dollars is what you do actually <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah sure hey <clears throat> you know what we picked all your trees clean and you got uh you got 422 dollars uh, let's go 420 straight up yeah, do you want to make yeah, and the bonus? Make, listen, just give us 80 bucks and I'll smoke a joint with you. Yeah, 80 bucks and you get all of it back in taxes. You know what? I thought this all this shit was 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 something that the county or the city could have handled already with respect to arranging an agreement with restaurants to, I don't know, for you know, pick up food for a tax deduction. Yo, yeah. we haven't even thought about the restaurants. They're already wasting food and they're already preparing food. For sure, for sure. I mean, any it's any pizza place you go to throws out about twelve pizzas a night. Their their staff takes home whatever pizzas they can eat and whatever ones they don't, they just throw them in the trash. I'd be it's I'd put up a, I'd put up a charity called Pizza for the People. Excuse me, you go around yeah. the pizza joints. You go, hey, here's my cell phone number. Text me if you're throwing out more than three pizzas. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Save all your pizzas. Call me at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah, and you could like you could take them back to your house and like individually wrap them or whatever whatever it takes to get the get it to the people you know Juan's camera just went yeah yeah it was that was, that was pretty psychedelic yeah well like <clears throat> i think the problem the problem that we have here is we're like the these ideas are all pretty good and this uh this this i'm telling you once once we're done if if we're done i don't mm -hmm. know if the whole place doesn't burn down because the whole state burned down and it's like the fire's like must have more fuel yeah. to the concrete jungle and just burns down all the cities too with it yeah yeah but this idea of like throwing a big fuck off party for we probably find a couple other good charities here in the south bay but throwing a big oh, fuck off sure. party for everybody for sure for like sure. a real party that goes till fucking four in, uh four in the morning runs a problem in san jose uh we might have to do it in san francisco <laughs> yeah 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 Fucking one fifteen in the morning in San Jose, you're pushing your luck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, actually, the uh, uh, it, I don't know if we've seen, but San Jose has lost so many, um, uh, so much what they consider talent within their law enforcement uh, because they can't pay. Um, they okay, have, I have I have some thoughts money. on this. One, did you know that twenty percent of the San Jose police force flatly refuses to get vaccinated. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The same and people you know, that, that like if they come to your, they were if they, talking about outing them too on the news. They were talking about uh, the the. There's a movement to try to out the officers, like make them wear something that says "I am not vaccinated." Wow. I, I was talking about this on Down wow. earlier, and I got like kind of mad because Curtis, if the police show up to your house, mm-hmm. they can ask you to comply with things that you think are unreasonable, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. if you don't do it. Yeah, they can arrest you. Yes, even though they're in your home, mm-hmm. they've not charged you. There's no warrant for your arrest. You haven't been charged with any crime. Mm-hmm. Now you're resisting arrest or whatever, which shouldn't mm-hmm. be a crime. Yeah. Uh, like people, I don't know. Once you're under arrest, the bets are off. Like your charges are your charges. Try to run. I don't know. You give people a mulligan in that case, as long as they're not like hitting anybody, right? If they're like just trying to run, no new yeah. charge. Why wouldn't you try to run? Yeah. But those some of those same motherfuckers mm-hmm. are saying I won't comply with this mm-hmm. order by the government, and I find that interesting. Yeah, yeah, because they they are uh, privileged. Like they I find that privileged. interesting. Well, oh, oh, this works the same way if they come to your house. If you're on top of the hill in Los Gatos and you tell them no, you probably good. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. It's funny how the pecking order is. But yeah, I'm just telling you, like I lived in San Jose for a while and I desperately wanted to get out of the city of San Jose because not one night, not two nights, but three nights late at night, I was doing contract work and I was being lazy. And mm-hmm. so like I was up against it. So I walked mm-hmm. down to the Seven Eleven to grab some caffeine three times in a space of two months. I got pulled over by the same fucking cop and we went through the same song and dance. And if I had to comply the third time, that cop should go get the fucking vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. Because by the third time I was angry, right? I was like, we've done this before. Do you remember me? I'm wearing yeah. flip flops. <laughs> Every time there's been car break ins in the neighborhood, and I'm like, I'm wearing flip flops. If I needed to run from you, this wouldn't be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 here to fucking deal the worst drugs in humanity with my fucking crocs. <laughs> but it's amazing, actually, that the police who think that you should comply all the time, that some portion of them won't comply with the the city, which should be an extension of the people, telling yeah. them that if you're going to arrest me, I'd prefer that you not give me the Delta variant of COVID. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't walk into my house and breathe your shitty air into my house and make my children sick. I mean, I just feel like if you're not willing to get vaccinated and you're serving law enforcement, you should, maybe you shouldn't be in law enforcement. You Well, I feel like there's that, also a lot of other people who shouldn't be in law enforcement. Like most right, of them. Right, right, because right. They, right. But the culture of law enforcement too, where they like think they're better than you. It's this, that's almost the same culture where they like abuse the citizenry, you know, <laughs> it's mm-hmm. the same culture. It's just a different like issue set. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. it, it is. It is. It's uh, uh, they they are um, protected and they know it. They have rights that the average citizen does not. So I know you're probably not following this like I am. Uh, Juan and Curtis, I'll ask both of you. You think the city's going to stand tall against the police union in San Jose and be like, no, actually, this is the law and we're going to vote on this. And that's just the way it is. Or do you think the city's going to bow down to the police union in San Jose? Well, I, I don't know what the what they're bowing down to or voting for. What's the what's the what's the law in question? It's going to be that all city employees have to be vaccinated or have a mm. like a medical reason to like like if you are if you have I don't even know what the medical conditions would be, but if you have a medical condition where you can't be vaccinated and your doctor. And like whoever's in charge of the the health department for the city is like, oh, that's actually a valid reason. Then yeah, you don't get it. But, but if otherwise, you, but if you can't be vaccinated, then you also can't do other things like be an officer of the law. Right. And but that's what I, I'm saying but, is in the off chance that somebody can meet all the other requirements to be a cop, but they can't be vaccinated, and there's like one yeah. or two. Yeah. Well, we would have to let them keep their job. But yeah, yeah. If that, if that was if that was the legal standing and and they met all the uh, the criteria, then 
there would be a reason for it. But just people saying, yeah, I don't want to. And I don't want to wear a badge that says that I'm unvaccinated. Uh, they're that not. There's no badge that says they're unvaccinated. It hasn't been voted on yet, but the city is probably going to bring up something that yeah. says every city employee must be vaccinated. If yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and so I'm just wondering with the police union, with what you know about San Jose, do you think that the uh, the city will just stand tall or will they bow to the police union? Um, I think it really uh, it really depends on this vote, the vote, the um, the, the government, uh, the recall vote, and the reason. Vote being, no. Yes, vote no for the love of fucking god. Uh, with with the recall, I think that if uh, there, I think that there's a lot of actions that we should be taking right now that are not being imposed with a legal force because the governor's hands are tied over this recall. Oh, right. It's right. But like, I, I, like we can talk about like, that. In a, we can talk about that in a minute, but do you think this will the city of San Jose, if like it happened tomorrow, but and the vote was going to come down. I have a feeling that once the re if the recall goes, if the recall does not go through, if he retains his position, the fucking day afterwards, there's going to be new sanctions. There's going to be new uh, rules and regulations. Uh, restaurants are going to actually shut down. Clubs are going to actually shut down again. And government officials may have to follow the guidelines of the California government as imposed by the governor. The recall does loom large. I was just wondering, uh, Juan, what do you think? If they voted tomorrow, would they vote against the, the police union, San Jose? I think that if, if it was the city of, city of Santa Clara, they would definitely vote in favor of the union for sure. But in San Jose, I think that um, I like to believe that we would like to keep the public's health in front and center and you know and like you say if there was somebody that had a valid excuse and yeah okay we understand okay but if, i think if it's just I think, something I like think if the vote was held tomorrow it would be unanimous for it for masking yeah for or masking or all the city employees i think every yeah. one of those fucking council members would vote yes yeah yeah, I think I think right now I would like to see I would like to see someone take charge <coughs> and make these uh, people that work in the in government positions mask up and vaccinate. I well, think it's mandatory. That, at that point, it needs to be mandatory. I mean, if you want to if you want to work at a you want to work at a hospital and they want you to get vaccinated against, you know, rubella, you got to get your fucking vaccination or you don't have a job. That just trips me out. Can I tell you? Can I tell you how tripped that I I am in hearing that nurses working in the in the medical field are refusing to get vaccinated? That's mind blowing to me. Yeah, it's like it's a what? very one. It's a very low percentage. Yeah, it's a very low percentage, and it's Thank people, God. Honestly, it's it's a lot of these people are. I hate to use the. Uh, uh, the term that the right uses a lot, which is crisis actors. But I think that a lot of these people that say that they're nurses and they say that they, they have the right to blah, 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 blah. And they're in some city council meeting. They aren't a fucking nurse, at least not, not in a true, not in a true way. I think that they're probably working for like, like a privatized company doing EMR shit. You know, it's, it's not if they worked at a real hospital and dealt with the real death wow. on their on their hands, they would vaccinate in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Just to see. So like if you see someone wither in front of you, you know, walks walks in on a Friday and by Sunday he's dead. That changes your attitude. Quickly. Absolutely. And, and, and you're seeing it on the daily. That's mm -hmm. crazy, man. I, I never thought of it deeply the way you're, you're putting that way. But yeah, having to face death every single day or at night when they're working night. Yeah, well, right now there's a, a really high uh, um, 
there's a high amount of suicidal activity within the nursing community because they're seeing this in such volume and they aren't i mean these these people aren't really allowed a vacation this year they're not really allowed time off unless they're absolutely sick unless they come down with it there's no way they can because it's like hey a third of the staff has already come down do you have it no then get back on the line we got wow. so hey curtis as i was walking out you mentioned uh the, the idea of like the crisis actor like the uh the the anti-vax nurse or whatever right yeah and I'm yeah. going to posit something more frightening to you than, mm -hmm. than, than, than being a, a crisis actor. Mm -hmm. They're doing it for the fame. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's some fame whores out there for sure. Well, no, I think that that's the, pro well, it's not really like the way that you might think of an Instagram influencer who's going to end up hucking a beauty product fame. I think it's more, there's this ecosystem out there that, that we might be, we might talk about sometimes here just mm -hmm. once in a while, just every, every little once in a while. And <laughs> if you get yourself into the um, conspiracy ecosystem and enough people think that you're being heroic, mm -hmm. people are going to give you money. And I think that these nurses that you're talking about, they're not, they're doing it for themselves. They're doing yeah. it for, for the fame hoping to be on the Alex Jones show, hoping to get like, you know, $10,000, $20,000 a month on Patreon. Yeah. And they may, th most of them are probably really anti-vax. They really don't believe in the vaccine, but I think that the yeah. idea that they can become famous, like looms large in their decision-making. Well, the, it's all these motherfuckers like DeSantos in Florida, they're already vaccinated. And oh, yeah, that's my favorite out. part of this. They're running around telling everybody, it's your right to say no, say no, don't take it. And it's like, you took it, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Right. I think a lot of the people who claim they didn't take it, who are famous, took it. Yeah. 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 Eric Believe Clapton me. shit. I bet Eric Clapton oh, fucking was man. first in line. Uh, yeah, first I bet you he got, uh, he got that shit delivered to his house by a fucking sexy maid costume. Like like <laughs> a conci concierge service Weird. that he found on OnlyFans sent him the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Very, well, like, it's very disappointing, though, when I, when I learned of that, that video he dropped was just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, and we chose not to play that here actually we just chose not to play it because it's like a fame it was it was um yeah we chose not to play it because i feel like <clears throat> there was no good to play it there's no, no good came out of it it wasn't some lunatic yelling at the city council where you be like <laughs> hey when you see this happen you need to show up at your city council meeting it's a rock star it's like Hey, if you're a rock star you should make a pro vaccine song to counter there's no rock stars watching the fucking show but regular yeah. ass people who could go to city council are watching the show. So we chose not to play the Eric Clapton. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. only play regular. Uh, I don't know. Whew. Yeah. But that guy's walked on the line of, uh, of, of bad temperament for a long time. Also, my no understanding idea. is that he stole a lot of his riffs from musicians of color early in his career. <laughs> Well, that that too, but uh, he's also been uh, quite a racist little fucking bastard in the past, and uh, still is. So there's you not a whole. If he, if, about him. I feel like if his uh, son didn't die and he didn't that, do that "Tears in Heaven" song, I feel like maybe we he wouldn't be uh, so much on the stage, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that definitely martyred him. He, he he's like, oh, I'm uh, my son died. I'm a martyr. Right. Whereas like right now, somebody's son's dying. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's son under the age of 30 or whatever right now is dying. Yeah. Yeah. But that could be me. I might drink myself to death on this very stream tonight. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. And that guy, that guy from, <clears throat> you know, fucking South San Jose, whose son is dying, doesn't get to write a fucking hit record about it. Right. Right. We may know, oh, there may be somebody in our community right now who is dealing with this and decided oh, yeah. not to put it on blast because it's personal you're right that's a good fucking point there's mm -hmm. there's even like there's even musicians who make their money make their living off of their music right now in this country mm -hmm. who that's happening to 
<clears throat> and they don't they don't get to they don't get oh that's a good fucking point yeah yeah my roommate's home i can hear him he opened a i, th- I believe it was a twisted tea which i think i had one the other day M- media wench had one and we agreed the twisted tea should only be used as a weapon <laughs> <laughs> never ever drink twisted tea do yeah, not drink no that way. shit <laughs> So Alabaster in the chat about 500 years ago asked us for a, a FTB song. So I think I'm going to play uh, Motown, but we'll be back in a minute. With, yes. With whatever, Do it. With whatever this is. Do it. Well, as a matter of fact, honey, I'm going to get high again. Because that's what you do at a fucking party. You get too high. You get too drunk. You stay too fucking long. That's why they call it a party. <laughs> Cause FTV came to party all night long I got a little song that I came to sing But I ain't talking nothing serious Tonight's a fling It's a one night stand Musically speaking A good steady buzz Try to avoid peaking The heights you're reaching You're bound to come down That's why when I fly Row is level to the ground Making that sound That you might want to hear Before we proceed Let's get this clear I'ma do my thing Without regret or fear Once in a while I might drink a beer A good steady course You must steer And then set a solid goal And try not to veer Anyway I'm getting way too serious This your song, it sounds like some silly shit Back in the drinking in the party again With an audible smoke or fuck the band We came to rock, that shit won't stop The rhymes we drop and a race against the clock And your eyes go big And my buddy's back All my friends are here Let's all have a good time Eyes go big And my buddy's back All my friends are here Let's all have a good time How do we do what we do when we rhyme? Staying on time Sonic got some eyes to press and they at 45 watts of solid state Got tubes and phases, keys and cords Amps and plugs and mixing boards Headsets, mics, monitor mixes And blueprints and jump tape fixes Overhead kick from prima donna Buckets of beer and marijuana Webby bar, distortion pedal Slow the fuck down, there's too much metal Cords and rollins, fenders, strike Got hot, hot, loose, got cool, cool cats All this equipment don't make the band You better have more talent than a beat
discussion continued for well over an hour past where we're cutting it off here. Uh, if you want the full, unedited, local Tuesday, just hit up patreon.com slash echoplex and sign up at the $5 level. Also, if you don't have five bucks or you just don't want to spend five bucks, email us, echo at echoplexmedia.com. We're not monsters. We're not literally paywalling an MP3 from you over some $5. Thanks for listening.